Do you fancy learning some watercolour techniques? Well, my quick tip of the day is going to be using masking fluid. Let's make a start. The thing with masking fluid is that once you've had it open for two or three months, um, sometimes it can start to go a little bit off. I'll give you an example. This is one which I've got, which is, um, you can see it's all set on the side there. And this is a Winter & Newton one, good masking fluid, don't get me wrong, but I've had it open for probably about a year. And I've come down to have a look at it and think, oh, I could probably use that. And it's gone a little bit off inside, and inside it smells off as well. So a key is to look at it and think, okay, well, it's going off a little bit on the side. And the other one is to have a little whiff of it and see, well, poor. Oh, and smell it, it should smell very latexy. If it is, it's fine. But if it smells a little bit funny, a bit off, then yeah, it might be worth kind of getting another one. And other than that, what I tend to do with this is that this one's obviously a blue version. Is at the bottom, you can see it's a little bit blue, it just needs mixing, but I don't shake it like crazy. I just roll it like so, just enough until that disappears on the base. Okay, so that's the basics on masking fluid. I will do another video on how to apply the masking fluid to the paper as well, and the kind of tools which you can use for that. If you'd like to see more watercolour painting tips, head to patreon.com forward slash the Devon Artist, and you'll see my full list of step-by-step -step video tutorials on how to paint wildlife in watercolour, where you get also the project photo, the outline drawing for that month's project as well, and even a step-by-step -step handwritten or hand-typed by me full PDF on that particular current month's project. So come and join me and let's get painting together. And don't forget to click on like, subscribe and share. And please leave a comment down below as well. I'd love to kind of hear your thoughts and find out what you've been up to on your painting ventures. So until next time, bye-bye for now.